Scrum is one of a number of charities that Francis Clark act for. We have a, a number of partners in various offices throughout the South West who specialise in charities and their particular uh, challenges that they face. Um, Scrum's an HIV AIDS charity and we work in Southern Africa, but particularly in Swaziland, doing assertiveness training and health promotion with children, but often with young girls through tag rugby tournaments and rugby generally. Well, Scrum's a rugby word, and the rugby connection is that the gentleman who founded it, Michael Collinson, was a very keen and able rugby player before he had an unfortunate road accident which confines him to a wheelchair. He thought, how can I use rugby, the love of my life, to help the children of Swaziland? And we use rugby as a vehicle for HIV AIDS prevention and health promotion. It's a way in. You can't talk about some of the things we need to talk about face to face with people in countries like Swaziland because it's too embarrassing and too difficult. But you can do it through rugby. When the children were of an age where they could understand sex education, it's quietly introduced to them um, along with um, talks about gender violence, which is endemic in the country, uh, and hopefully this generation of children will grow up and improve the general uh, lifestyle of themselves and others. Rugby is the fastest growing sport in Swaziland and we, we, we've brought it to 50,000 children. We started on a kitchen table, like lots of people do, and it very quickly became obvious that we need to maintain legal and solid auditing structures. So I approached my accountants, Francis Clark, and they've been incredibly helpful. So I said, well, come in and have a chat. And that's, that's when we first met. And uh, we decided to have a, a nice sort of round table discussion about how perhaps we could help him. Uh, we really need to make sure that everything that we do is within the correct boundaries, within the correct processes of the Charity Commission. We also have to ensure that as a limited company we meet all of our uh, submission dates for company papers and whatever else is needed. So we had a system where we were doing it ourselves because we wanted to save money, but actually we ended up not, not really costing us any money because we're all volunteers, but it just became too difficult. We do our own books, uh, at least we keep the receipts and we sort it out and then Tim makes it all work for us. So. In that way, it's been really excellent. Some of the specific issues that Nigel was facing was around transparency of reporting, so making sure that the people that had donated money actually knew that their money was being used for the right cause of what they donated it for. Um, things like gift aid, uh, they, weren't, they weren't on top of gift aid claims, which obviously as an individual, when you donate and claim gift aid, that makes a huge difference to a charity. It's made our systems much more efficient. So now we can use gift aid through the website more efficiently, it can be accounted more efficiently, it can be chased up if necessary more efficiently. Us coming in has allowed them a lot more time to actually do the work that charity trustees should be doing. So rather than focusing internally, they can now promote the charity, they can talk about what they should be doing and what they want to be doing. Because it takes away all the worry and all the anxiety around accounting processes, it allows us to use our time to go forward and raise money for the charity. And so peace of mind, clarification, and we know exactly where we're at now financially, which is really helpful. Our immediate target is to develop the relationship between Scrum and every school in Swaziland. We hope to uh, qualify coaches within these schools and clubs so the game of rugby is ongoing and building in Swaziland and the message of Scrum is carried through those ambassadors. It means they've actually got time to do the good work that they want to do uh, because they've got a huge amount of energy with which to do it. Um, Francis Clark obviously wants to support them in that um, and we can help free up their time.